introduce my dissertation. The title of the dissertation is Challenges in Object Detection, Revealing Weaknesses and Providing Recommendations Through Varied Test Cases and Data Augmentation. The speaker is Vivishi and the supervisor is Telmo. This presentation will unfold in six parts. First Induction Section In recent years, computer vision has gained attention due to its widespread applications. Object detection is a key task in computer vision, playing a crucial role in accurately identifying and locating objects of interest in images. Testing object detection models is an important research direction in the field of computer vision. However, prior research has primarily focused on developing and improving the architecture of object detection models to enhance their performance with less emphasis on the training data set. Existing evaluation methods lack relatively comprehensive standards to assess the model's ability to handle various challenging scenarios. Data augmentation techniques can enhance dataset diversity and while they have been studied in image classification models, their exploration in object detection is relatively limited. The objective of this dissertation is to develop a comprehensive evaluation checklist specifically designed for behavioral testing of object detection models. Develop automated tools for creating test cases to assess image dataset processing, making batch data processing more convenient and efficient. Identify the predictive capabilities of object detection models in different scenarios. Finally, enhance and expand the dataset. This will provide valuable guidance and feedback for model improvement. Let's introduce the technical method. The dissertation employs test cases. Test cases are constructed to examine whether object detection models can correctly detect objects in images. Inspired by the recent expansion of diverse datasets in the classification domain, test cases are devised for object detection and datasets. We comprehensively cover test cases and introduce new ones to ensure comprehensive coverage of various scenarios. Ultimately, this dissertation identifies 18 distinct test cases. Given the characteristics of photometric transformation techniques can alter pixel values, distort color channels, thus affecting the appearance of the image. This operation does not impact the position of bounding boxes. Photometric transformations include hue test case. The image on the right demonstrates the effects of applying the hue test case to the image. Brightness test case. Saturation test case. Noise test case. Contrast test case. Mosaic test case. Blur test. Geometric transformation operations can geometrically distort the image, consequently altering the position and size of annotated bounding boxes, excluding flips, thus providing case stability for object detection models. Geometric transformations include translation test case. The image on the right displays the result after translation. Shearing test case. Cropping test case. Rotation test case. Scaling test case. Flipping test case. Next are the image splicing test case, where several different images are merged. Random occlusion technique is a method of simulating real-world obstacles by adding occluding elements to an image. Certain parts of objects or images become unseen or obstructed. Random occlusion include occlusion test case, cutout test case, cutmix test case, mix of test case. Next, let's introduce the automated tools for test cases. Within these automated test case tools, we have implemented a series of image processing functions to support various types of operations. This tools allowing users to select single or multiple operations for combined testing by inputting operation numbers. This enables users to freely choose and apply different image processing operations according to the specific requirements of their tasks. 
Regarding the dataset, I collected two public datasets from Kaggle, a face dataset, and a fruit dataset. The face dataset comprises a diverse compilation of human facial images, representing different races and age groups. The fruit dataset includes three labels, apples, bananas, and oranges. Next, let's introduce the two models used. First, Yolov 8 is an object detection model representing the latest version in the YOLO series. Yolov 8 employs an anchor-free detection approach. The faster RCNN model is considered a classic object detection model. Its notable feature is the use of a two-stage strategy for object detection. The object detection process into two key stages, candidate region generation and candidate region classification with bounding box regression. When applying the test cases to the human face dataset for faster RC and N model predictions, the experimental results are presented in the table. In the table, a cross indicates that the model failed that specific test case. A checkmark indicates that the model passed that specific test case. In the facial recognition dataset, rotation and flipping operations change the position and orientation of the faces in the image, causing the model's predicted bounding boxes to no longer accurately match the targets. Scaling, noise, mosaic, occlusion, blur, and contrast operations can cause the target objects in the image to lose some critical features, making it challenging for the object detection model to accurately recognize and locate the target. The test cases were applied to the fruit dataset for predictions using the Yalov 8 model, and the table presents the final experimental results. Hue, brightness, saturation. Blur, scaling, and occlusion operations can cause the target objects in the images to lose some critical features, making it challenging for the object detection model to accurately recognize and locate the targets. From the experimental results, it is evident that the object detection model faces notable difficulties and limitations when dealing with diverse test cases. The fundamental reason is that the model has very few images in the training data depicting such scenarios, making it unable to generalize to these situations. The scenarios that reveal these issues are situations not covered in the training dataset, but are likely to occur in real-world scenarios. Therefore, expanding the dataset to diversify the training data is crucial. For the fruit dataset, color is indeed a significant distinguishing feature. Color changes can lead to the original labels not being retained after transformation. Different datasets may have their own bias cases. Hence, depending on the dataset and the task at hand, some manual intervention might be necessary. Next is the conclusion section. This project has developed a comprehensive test case checklist for object detection to simulate complex scenarios and evaluate the performance of object detection models in diverse settings. We have designed an automation tool for handling the test cases, allowing for rapid individual testing and combination testing of various scenarios. Through the test cases, we have identified the challenges faced by object detection models when dealing with diverse scenarios, and we recommend data enhancement and augmentation as a solution. The test cases can be transferred between different datasets, providing flexibility in evaluating models across various data sources. Different datasets may have their own bias cases. Hence, depending on the dataset and the task at hand, some manual intervention might be necessary. As future work, we will conduct a series of experiments to quantify the extent to which the model benefits from adopting our data augmentation suggestions. We will utilize the MakeySense online image annotation tool to annotate the object locations in the newly generated images. Furthermore, we will feed the augmented and enhanced dataset into the model for further training and assess the improvement in accuracy after model training. We will also perform experiments by conducting combination tests on the test cases. My presentation is over. Thanks for your time and listening.